So, this is what y'all wanted, right? All right, bro. Now, don't be heartbroken for what I say, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, look, bro, why you send a check your spouse's home? Just, just ask yourself, why are you checking this person's phone? You know what I'm saying? This person did nothing to you. Why are you checking this person's phone? You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you got trust issues that bad to check somebody's phone, you shouldn't be in a relationship with the person. It's just that simple. Like, why are you checking her phone? Why are you checking his phone? They're like, okay, because I know a few people that's like, oh, nah, I don't let people check my phone. I'm one of those people. I don't have shit to hide, but I just don't like people on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Because I have business and shit in there. Like, if you mess that shit up, then I'm going to fuck you up. Like, I, you feel me? It's like, it's not I'm insecure. Or it's not that people are insecure when you check their phone. It's just they have so much shit in there. That's the way that they want it. And they know when people go on your phone, they fuck that up. That's the type of person I am. If you go, like, you go on my phone, and I'm just really worried that you might fuck something up. Because I have a, a list of shit that I plan on doing. And then somebody could just go on your phone and just boom. Now that shit is gone. Now you forgot what you was going to do. Now you got to write all that shit. But, my fault. Y'all didn't really came to hear that. Why you shouldn't check your spouse's phone? Why? Like, okay. You going to you going into your spouse's phone for a reason, right? For someone that doesn't want trouble, when you check your spouse's phone, regardless if they doing something or not, you're looking for trouble. Why the fuck are you looking for trouble? Ask yourself that. Why are you looking for trouble, bro? Like there's trouble all around us, world, but you want to find trouble in your spouse's phone. Why? Think about that, bro. Like, oh, like, I'm pretty sure you just don't wake up one day. Oh, I'm gonna go through my, my I'm gonna go through my partner's phone. Just for no apparently for a reason. I'ma just go through my partner's phone. Why the fuck you, do you really want to be hurt that bad? Like I'm just saying, nine times out of ten, when you check your spouse's phone, there's a reason why you're checking your spouse's phone. If you, you feel something in your heart, you feel something in your gut, you feel something in your back, you feel something to check your spouse's phone. Now, with that gut, with that gut instinct, ask yourself, do you really want to be hurt that bad? Now, let's just say hypothetically there's something in there. Do you really want to be hurt that bad? Ask yourself that. Like, damn, I really love him. I really love him. But if I see something like that, I know I'm going to be hurt. So, when people say, oh, you hurt me, you did it out of this, no. You hurt yourself. If you would have never checked the phone, you wouldn't be hurt right now. You feel me? And all things come to the light. Let it come to the light by itself. Don't sit here, you feel me? Don't sit here and rush it because then you can ruin something that was not meant for you to be fine or found at that time. And it was later on down the line you were supposed to find that out. Because, okay, say if, say, okay. Wait, wait, this, this scenario. Say if you feel something's going on in your heart, right? Well, God don't want you to find that out yet. He's giving you signs of, hey, there's something going on, but don't find out yet. So, you with this person for like a week and a half after you get this gut feeling. Now, after a month having this gut feeling, say this nigga get big and then he has a whole bunch of money. or some, I'm not trying to sound like a gold digger or whatever. Or for the females, it's trying to be a gold digger. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying be a gold digger. But say if God had that plan of him getting big with you in his life, him getting big, and then he let out the truth of you finding out of why you had that gut feeling. Now, God has you set up. You got money. Now you can leave the motherfucker without being broke. See, now, if you would've did that shit earlier and just went off your gut instinct, oh, motherfucker, let me check your phone. And then found out this nigga was doing shit, which is wrong regardless of how you look at it. Which is wrong, but it wasn't for your time. Now you just ruined yourself from getting rich or having a good fucking life because you just, you feel me, you rushed it. Stop rushing shit, you know what I'm saying? Just because you have a gut instinct, let that shit ride for like a week. Let that shit ride for like two weeks. Almost, I, I, ooh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna count. That, that month thing is kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't want to have this gut feeling for like a month, bro. Which I have had in the past, you know what I'm saying? But let, let that shit ride for like two weeks, bro. Just to see what God has planned for you, bro. You never know, bro. So the reason why you shouldn't check your spouse's phone is for that simple reason, bro. Like... Don't sit here and try to rush it. Like, check it, but don't check it. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. The crazy people that's out there, it probably makes sense to them. It's like, check it, but don't check it, nigga. Like, 
Uh, second, third, no, fuck it. What's, what, what reason are we on? Oh, that was it. Anyway, <laughs> that was the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, if you need to the channel, subscribe, talk about something, post something. Gang, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Nah, but for real though, because a lot of people just look at the video and then don't subscribe. It's like, bro, if you like the video, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? But don't forget to subscribe.